Quartermain, if you'll just sign this. And Dr. Quartermain. Uh, what am I signing? The usual surgical consent form. <clears throat> Have your insurance forms been completed? Actually, I'm pro bono. They took pity on me. Yes, they're signed. When was the last time you had anything to eat or drink? I haven't eaten anything or had anything to drink since midnight last night, like the doctor ordered. Good girl. I have a splitting headache. I think it's caffeine withdrawal. I would kill for an ice cube. You can't have one. I know that. Charming. Yeah. Uh, can Alan and the boys come back in? Yeah. Just one second. Mm-hmm. about asking your mother for anything, now's the time to do it. All she can do is grunt. Mm. 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 So, Mom, can I get you anything? Mm -mm. Mm. Thank you. So, how's, how's it going? Would you believe they are treating me like a patient? like being on this end of the scalpel. Well, they, they tell us in school that every physician should do time as a patient. You know, get the perspective from the other side. Well, well, trust me, it stinks. You'll be fine, Mom. You're in great hands here. That sounds very good, Jason. It's a nice bedside manner. You'll make a good doctor. AJ? The only one who's completely intimidated by this place. No, I just hide it better. I hate it. Me too. Oh, Alan, <laughs> you're gonna love this. I was looking at the uh, post-op menu, and um, it says that I'm gonna be on like tapioca and Jello for a few days, but then I'm gonna get. You ready for this? What? Breast of chicken. <laughs> much care for my dark humor. Monica, you deal with this however you need to. Well, your husband's right for a change. Uh, Are you? Yes. All right. Did you know that Bobby told me to tell you that she's scrubbing up right now and she'll be waiting in OR for you? Well, I don't know which I like better. The fact that she's going to be in OR with me or the fact that you two are speaking. Please tell me this is a ruse just to get me and Bobby back together. Don't I wish. Well, I'll uh, check back. Page me if you need me, okay? Will do. Thanks, Tony. Monica, I love you. And I have nothing but good thoughts for you, okay? Oh, oh excuse me. Tony. Bye. Well, well, how are you doing? Fine, how are you? You know, if this were a professional session, you would never, never get away from that. Give me my love. Uh, listen, <laughs> I intend to um, 
circulate a petition, you know. Oh, you do? Really? Yeah. Well, um, what are the complaints? Hospital gowns. Oh. No, no, no. They leave you with absolutely no dignity whatsoever. <laughs> that and the constant demand for bodily fluids that uh, have to be in way too small jars. <laughs> well, you count me in on that. You know, I will be the first signature to sign that petition. <laughs> no promise? Yep. I'll be with you. All the way, Monica. I'm depending on you. Okay. <sighs> we'll help you on to this. Ah, uh, no. No, thank you. This is something I can manage myself. Um, thanks, guys. We'll be right here when you come out. You counting on it, kid? Mama. Okay, okay, sweetie. I love you too. Don't you worry, Mom. I'm going to be fine. I am. <laughs> Any problem? It's a piece of cake. Come on. Hey. Don't worry. I'm gonna be in and out of there before you even have a chance to miss me. Gail. I'll um, I'll work with you tomorrow. Thanks. I like that. Alan. Um. Oh my gosh. Uh, my wedding ring. I got it. Right here, sweetheart. I love you. 